Welcome to this session on placing a profile. So now that we've got multiple floors created, we can actually begin to use our Explorer here to navigate between the models. Um, so you see I've got all these design models here and we want to go back to the A floor Office 1 model. So I'm just going to double click and that's going to take me back to that model. And what we're going to do in this exercise is we're just going to place a little piece of cap molding around the top of our brick. And we're going to do that using the profile tool. So it's just a way to add a little detail onto your model. So again, I'm going to go back to my architectural tab. I'm going to select this place profile tool. Again, we've got several different uh, profiles. And a profile is essentially a 2D cell of a shape, and then it gets extruded as you place it. I'm going to select this example metal cornice bullnose, and any profile will have some type of origin or placement line. In this case, I believe it's, it's up here at the top of that bullnose. So one thing here is that, you know, our, our floor selector is set to floor one, and, that, and we have these locks on. And that means if we tried to place this profile, even if we snapped to the top of the wall up here, so let's try that, notice it wants to place it down there. And that's due to these locks. It's forcing my snap point down to my floor plane. So if I turn those locks off, then I could snap to the top of the wall and it stays at the top of the wall. So all I'm going to do then is just work my way around the building, snapping to the outer corner of the brick to place that profile. When I get back to the beginning, if I just select the same point as my start point, it'll automatically close and miter that joint. And we've placed the profile. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.